you wonder how will God ever use because when we go for meetings and I, my, my preaching was one, one, one person told me he says you when you preach it's like you're talking when you preach it's like you're talking I said yeah I'm talking <laughs> and he says nobody will come and listen to you who, who wants to come and listen to somebody who is just talking they want power and you have no power when you preach it's like you're conversing I don't know where that person is now but I suppose he will revise his views but people were very very dramatic and theatric and, and all kinds of things God is just looking for people who are true to themselves and true to him and he will use them I remember years ago I was invited to go and pray for a person who has lost his mind he had severe mental challenge and he was a member of our church and uh, of course you know when people are in trouble they call for pastor I don't know why they don't call for psychiatrists you have mental problem talk of psychiatry but they call for us so we, I went so yeah I was I went to this home it was somewhere in Osu and this guy is huge and and and, and he, he was fixed in one place fixed but you talk to him he, he won't even look at you he fixed and there were there were people who they were all scared of him because when the thing comes it gets very he gets very ag aggressive so this member of my church a lady says pastor my brother come and pray for him he wasn't the boy was in my church or man was in my church but this lady was in my church so I went <clears throat> And uh, <clears throat> I look at him and I said quietly, the whole family was there because the pastor has come, he has to do something. <laughs> you know, <laughs> he has to do something. People are watching, they want to see what you do. So I said, okay, let me do what I, I will do. So I stood there and I said, this is what I said. In the same tone I'm talking to you, in the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke this spirit from your mind be free and be set free and I said I'll finish and I went <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I was going the lady followed me and said pastor is that all have you finished have you finished I'm sure the family members are saying what kind of pastor is this you have to stamp your feet you have to scream you have to say in the name then we'll know power is flowing but listen to me the power of God is not generated by volume of voice the power of God is not generated by volume of voice the power of God is not generated by stomping of feet the power of God is in God it is his power and I said to myself if I scream and I don't scream I don't have the power I don't do I have the power no if God doesn't work my screaming will not change anything rolling on the floor will not change you remember that when Elijah Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to Mount Carmel these guys were screaming and cutting themselves and doing all kinds of stuff nothing happened and Elijah came no screaming fixed the altar poured water put the sacrifice on it and said God do it listen if you think the power is generated by you then of course go and learn how to increase the volume of your voice go and learn how to scream because the power depends on you but if you believe it depends on God then your faith your faith must be in him so of course I pray for this gentleman and and the sister came and said you know uh, uh, is that all I say yeah I said what more can I do what more can I do what should I do scream so I left 
And a few months later, I went to preach somewhere in an office. Those days, I used to do uh, what they call office evangelism. And at uh, lunchtime, I go to preach in places. The very early days of my ministry. And I saw this guy, well-dressed. Like, like the guy I prayed for, wearing his tie. It was a bank. So I went to the gentleman, I said, do you know me? He said, no. Do you remember me? He said, no. I said, I'm Pastor Mensah Ota, but he just lifted me up. He said, they said, you came to pray for me. You came to pray for me. And when you prayed, I became well. They said, and I've been looking for you. You see, listen to me, listen to me. God wants to do things with you so that you, the glory will be His. And when He said He was lifting me up, I knew I didn't do anything. I knew myself. If I can cure mental cases, I will set up a psychiatric hospital and charge your family members. But I cannot do it. There is God Almighty who does his work and all you need to do is to work